Hello guys, so we are back again with another Clash Royale episode and this time I am going to play the Double Prince Graveyard deck. So it's been pretty good. I played it on the main account for Global Tournament as well. So today we're doing a little bit uh, different. We're going to do some live battles here and I'll do my best to talk through the gameplay. Alright, so basically in this deck you're using Double Prince as a tank if not Bar Barrel for your Graveyard. Double Prince is pretty strong right now in terms of uh, ground defense. So you could basically cycle them if you need. So I would say uh, for this deck, cycling cards would include your Snowball, your Bar Barrel, you can split Zappies in the back, and uh, you can cycle Dark Prince first. First play if you want, right? Then the rest of the cards are not really cycle cards in terms of your Hunter and your Prince. Those are really your, basically your strong defenses against air. Because let's say they have Fireball, your Zappies uh, die pretty quickly, and in terms of ground DPS, uh, Prince is considered the only one in this deck because Dark Prince just doesn't get that much damage. Of course, if you don't have anything else, Dark Prince would be uh, the other alternative. All right, so I'll see you guys in the first battle. All right, uh, okay, so we get a game here against MG. Whoa, that's very aggressive at the start. Go with the Prince. I'll see how he reacts. Might be Infernal Dragon, Baby D, and a Balloon. No, with I with that. It might be Golem. Lumberjack, Mega Minion, feels like a Golem deck right now. Lumberjacks are not really in too many decks, usually in Balloons or Golems only. So I would want to force out his um, other ground defense to check out if it's a Night Witch. So it most probably would be a Night Witch here, yeah, that's, that's good actually. So we got the charge also. Okay, I don't really want to cycle the Hunter here, so we'll go with the Bar Barrel. The good thing is he only has a Golem or Lumberjack, which he will have to play into the Prince. He goes with the Palm. Okay, well, we could go Graveyard Poison, but let's not try anything funny right now, so we'll just poison the Palm here. He doesn't get enough for the Lumberjack, so he's gonna take two Prince hits, so that is pretty good in my opinion. And we took care of the pump. So most probably a golem deck. I don't I don't see any possibilities. Okay, so Night Witch is gonna be a problem now because it looks like we are out of our poison. So I think we defend here because we already split Zappies. We'll go with Hunter. If he has a lightning, we could be in trouble, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Night Witch has a slight problem, not gonna lie. Uh we'll do some damage. We Let's see, let's see. We might have to, yeah, I think I have to poison this here. Even though he has a palm, I'm still gonna have to poison this to save the hunter. And, uh, we, because it's almost double elixir, so we can let the one palm go. We'll almost probably pump up here. We'll see where he pumps and how he pumps. Okay, he goes with that. Um, I think we let it go. We're gonna snowball this, so we can get some... It's winning points in range now, so not a problem. We just gotta defend one goal. The question is, what is his spell? Is he running a big spell? Is he running any spells? I'm still gonna have to poison the Night Witch, or depending what he plays, we still have to poison it. So it looks like he's not gonna play the Night Witch, because he knows that we can easily poison it. So we'll go with Zappy's full out defense here. He goes with Baby D, we are fine, it seems. We have good protection. Yeah, we can let the palm go, so no problem. Looks like we will most probably win this first game. The golem doesn't even reach the tower, I believe, so we're gonna go poison this tower. And that's it. Yeah, you can let palms go and double elixir, whether against 3M or, or what else, so no problem at all. It is well played, and I will see you guys in the next game. Okay, uh, back in the next game here against Jen from Ambitious Pain. But Zappies maybe, we'll see. Usually you wait for a bit, 5 to 10 seconds if he wants to play. So he plays a Snowball. Snowball again is not a common card in many decks right now. With Musketeer it might mean... Either Hawk or Balloon. For meta decks, of course, oh no. Of meta decks, he could run anything he wanted. Uh, okay. So I think it is gonna be... Balloon from him, so we're gonna need to save Hunter and Snowball. He's running those. We're gonna go with the graveyard here. And let's see what he does. 
Is he gonna log? Just a barrel. We still get good damage, so I don't need to snowball. Like I said, we need the snowball. For his... For his troops, so... I think he's gonna minor, so... He might also go with... We'll go with Zappies instead, but... Cause he can't really stop those Zappies. I might need to snowball, and I think we're good. Hunter is risky because he could have minored it. Uh, minor snowball, minor, minor something. So we went with the last risky option with the Zappies, which he really doesn't have a good response to. Also, I would say we are pretty decent. Of course, um, a snowball, minor snowball would still be able to get a get a hit, I believe. So we also have to snowball back if he snowballs. So it's really uh, gonna be close. Let me see. I would still go in with a graveyard here, I believe, just to get some damage. He goes with that. He knows the graveyard is coming. We're gonna go with the poison. Oh, we don't get the musky. That is potentially huge. It really depends how we decide to defend this now. I think just for sake, I will go with Zappy's split. So yeah, we can defend both sides. He's gonna snowball the hunter. I have to snowball back here. Like I said, if he snowballs, we got a snowball. And basically, we're saving the snowball for for defense. Yeah, he might go opposite lane. Looks like he doesn't. So if he doesn't go opposite lane, we'll go in here with that. Okay, we should be able to handle that. I will go in with our own graveyard. We were over defending that, because if we did, I know I've been pretty... Okay, again, we don't we don't want to snowball, right? We, we have the snowball. We could snowball for extra damage, but just to play safe, we are... If we are in the lead, we don't really need to do anything uh, too crazy right here. If he gives Musketeer, we poison. If he doesn't, so be it. We'll cycle Zappies in the back. I can take a hit on the right side, so that's why we're going with this combination here. We're just gonna cycle again, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna be careful of that side here, so we're gonna cycle the prince. Let's see what he does. I think he does protect it, so we're gonna go with this. That's fine. Again, like I said, we have snowball. We cannot take a hit on this side, so I have to snowball that. Uh, prince gets great damage, great, great damage. I think we're gonna go aggressive with this here. Just to force him to defend, then he can't really attack there. He might have given up, he might not. Okay, he goes very defensively with a lot of troops. We still get the damage we need, that's within poison range. GG's. Yeah, I would say uh, against against such decks, you can stack up your troops. If they don't have fireball, they don't have poison, you just have to play safe. Stack up your troops. If he does more damage on one side, you could take a hit on the other side. No problem at all. I will see you guys in the next game. Okay, back in the next game here. Okay, let me see. Barrel. That cycle barrel. Yeah, he goes with Bandit. I'll go with Prince. The cycling barrel right at the start here doesn't do too much. A little dash on my side. Okay, might be Pekka Ram here. Oh, poison the Ice Whiz. Uh, e Whiz, I mean. Okay, against Pekka, we have good um, distraction, I would say. I would split Zappis. I mean, my Pekka in front. Let's go Zappy's all in one way. If he poisons, it's good. Uh, but maybe he knows we're playing a graveyard deck. So that's really good. Cool. Okay, uh, this is key. What he does here. Goes with the MA. So he's running the MA version. A lot of uh, minions version recently also. But this time, this guy is running the MA version. My Pekka here. Okay, goes with the pen. Okay, we get some. Whoa, oops. Okay, um, I think I prince this. Okay, so basically we have a decent defense for his battle ram and everything else, but the problem is if he peck us in the back, do we actually have a punish? He might... He doesn't have a bandit for that, so let me see what he does. He might have to peck her there. He goes with the ghost, that's not a good... Okay, ghost ends that, that's okay. Okay, I will let that ghost go since it's almost dead. If he pack us the front here, I don't think he has enough elixir to defend the back, so that's what we are aiming for. He goes with that, he doesn't have enough elixir, definitely now. Alright, 
All right, great damage, great damage. I think it was a mistake to defend with with that push. Okay, good, good, good. Looking good, guys. It was his mistake to defend Prince with that. He should have defended it with Pekka. At least he would have a counter push one night. Now I'm gonna need a defensive poison here. He will better run behind, I believe. No, he doesn't have better run right now. Okay, okay. Uh, I might still have to go with a... If it comes on my side, we'll go with offensive. Graveyard, but now it's on his side. Uh, we'll just let it go for now. Please, Zappies, take care of it. It's gonna go with a battle ram. We'll still go with the defensive graveyard just to be safe here. Okay, okay. Okay, we don't die to MAs, I don't think so. Alright, nice, nice, nice. GG's. Alright, I hope you guys uh, like the series of live battles. And don't forget to try out this deck. And let me know how do you guys uh, think or how do you guys do with this deck. I feel like this deck is pretty, pretty matchup dependent. If they have like good ground defense, basically, and, and a poison. Basically, I don't think you will break through. If they have, let's say, a knight and cannon card. Or, or like two solid ground defenses for both your prints and something for the graveyard it feels like it's really really hard to break through so let me know what do you guys think about this deck and um, don't forget to try it out and don't forget to like and like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace out guys